Now that you know a little bit more about energy, we're going to start to do our own experiments. So you guys are going to start to do your own experiments. Anybody got any guesses as to what we might be using this stuff for? So we've got vinegar, we've got baking soda, we've got a bottle, we've got a balloon, we've got a spoon. Yeah? Uh, fill, up the balloon fill up the balloon with air. Okay, so how are we going to put air in the balloon? Don't know? Well, let's find out, okay? First thing I want you to do is someone in your team, stretch out your balloon like that and blow it up nice and big and then let the air out of it, okay? Okay, so just let the air out. So all we're doing is stretching our balloon a little bit. Once you've done that, I want you to take your funnel and I want you to put the balloon on the end of it, okay? I want you to start very, very carefully putting baking soda into that balloon until you've kind of filled the balloon. Sometimes it gets stuck in the funnel, so give it a little wiggle. You can use this end of the spoon to shove it in. And the girls in the front, what I want you girls to do is I want you to fill half a cup of this. So find the cup side in the measuring jug and fill half a cup full of vinegar and I want you to put it in your bottle, okay? Keep going until it's completely full. Does everybody have vinegar in a bottle? Yeah, yeah. And it looks about that much full? Yeah. 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 And does everybody have baking soda, thank you very much, in a balloon? Yeah. Okay. The next part's a bit tricky so I want you to watch me first, okay? What you're going to try and do is you're going to try and stretch that balloon over the lid of your bottle like that with out tipping anything in. So you want it to sort of hang to the side. So try and do that now. Okay. Someone hold on to the bottle while the other person stretches the balloon. And see if you can get it good and, good and down over the lid of your bottle there. And once you've done that, girls, I want you to do this. Okay. Now, someone has to keep a hold of the bottle so it doesn't tip over. It's not going to hurt you. Nothing's going to explode in your eyes or anything like that. So don't worry. What I want you to do is I want you to very slowly tip all the baking soda into your bottle like that. Do it now. And then watch what happens to our balloon. So just keep it upright. It gets a bit dramatic, don't panic. Just hold it upright, you're fine. That's it. Now, so who wants to take a guess as to what just happened in our bottle? You're still going, that's good. Anybody? Anybody want to take a guess for me as to what happened? Yeah? Absolutely correct. Okay, so what we had was we had something called an acid-base reaction. So we had an acid, which was our acid, the vinegar or the baking soda? The vinegar. And then the base was the baking soda. When they combined, there was a chemical reaction. And just like that girl said, a gas was made. Does anybody want to make a guess as to what that gas was? Something we breathe out? Carbon dioxide, the very same. So what we do is when we combine the vinegar and the baking soda, we actually make something called um, a carbonic acid, okay? So the acetic acid in the vinegar combines with the bicarbonate of soda and the baking soda and makes something called a carbonic acid. Now this is very unstable, so it breaks down and that's why you got all those bubbles and kind of look like rain inside your bottle. Very quickly breaks down into water and carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide then, because it's a gas, it likes to expand and fill space. So it actually expanded your balloon and it's gonna stay there for a good while.